Michael, what an original holiday season for you. What's your biggest headache right now to make it a celebration? Well, we've got uh, closures as normal, but we've got lots of stock. So for the first time ever in our history, we're going on sale today ahead of Boxing Day to make sure everybody gets a little bit of love at Christmas. It is about the Herod's experience. How has it changed? How do you manage restaurants, the acclaimed food court that you have? How do you manage that with what's above it on the many floors, up those escalators? How do you piece it all together in a pandemic? It's, everything's changed, but we've got standard operating procedures for every area. We've got screens to make sure that people are safe. But we're still creating newness. And I think the difference between us is we want to make sure that people just get a normal Christmas. So I hope when you come to Harrods today, you won't see any other difference from any other year. Michael Ward, good morning. What have you learned about e-commerce? What has gone well and what could you improve? Well, we were very lucky that we chose the far-fetched white system to be able to go live in February, and that has set us really good. So we launched into the pandemic with one of the tech leaders managing our website. So that put us in a very, very, very strong position. During the same time, we also managed through to shop from our shop floor. So we had in the last breakdown lots of super sellers contacting our great customers to make sure we could get anything from the store anywhere in the world to them. Uh, Michael, I bet you're missing the tourists. When are you expecting them to come back? I think we'll start to see them gradually drift back. Uh, we're already, um, interestingly, we've taken some pre-orders for the Gordon Ramsay bar Burger Bar, and they're all those beautiful customers that we used to have coming from the Middle East. So I think we're going to start to see the corridors between the UAE and from Qatar start to help us during the Christmas period. Well, Michael, you mentioned bringing a little bit of Las Vegas to Harrods. I mean, the Gordon Ramsay Burger Bar is, in, is an institution in Las Vegas. You bring it over to fine dining. How do you fold hamburgers into the Harrods experience? But I think that what we do is bring the best of the best. And I ate there yesterday, and his tomato sauce is probably the best tomato sauce. But we just do it slightly <laughs> elegantly. There isn't the size and scale that you may see in America. The salads are small and refined, but that oh, michelin star cooking is still central to what he's doing. A small and refined... Michael, that sounds like the Keene household. It's a Keen household all over, Tom. I guess so. I, I'm glad you're serving small and refined salads. Michael, I notice the acclaimed shoe experience. Francine has picked out the Jimmy Choo's at $4,000. These yeah. are crystal spangled <laughs> shoes. I mean, come on, let's get Poor back Tom. to the basics of Harrods, whether it's the cosmetics on the first floor, that watch area. Okay, great. Are you really going to move product now? I mean, does a record stock market indicate a surprise record year for your conventional sales? We, we've had some amazing local sales. During lockdown, we've been selling 600,000 pound rings. It's still there, and the customer just wants some fun. I mean, over the weekend, just on Friday, we sold a beautiful evening gown to somebody who wanted to dress up in an evening gown to watch Strictly Come Dancing. That's what we do, <laughs> and we do. Anna Edwards was so at Harris. Saw... I was going to say, <laughs> Michael, that's probably something that Tom does. I mean, he's you know imagining himself with a cocktail. But how will the pandemic actually change the way we shop in 21? Uh, you know, in 2021, are we just going to be online much more? We, we've all changed the, our shopping habits. Will we ever go back to what it was like in 2019? Well, it's, it's interesting because I went to Shanghai for Shanghai Fashion Week, and I went through the pain of two weeks of quarantine. But when I got out, we had a party for 250 of our best customers, and it was just like going back to normal. So China has gone back instantaneously to where we were. There is still a future for people who put great experiences for their customers. And during the course of this week, we've got some great things to happen. I mean, today we opened the biggest Louis Vuitton store in any department store in the world with exclusive product. We've got exclusive um, Louis Vuitton coffee vans outside. We just make it special on every occasion we can. Uh, 
Michael, we are transfixed now on Netflix by The Crown. Some of us are catching up on season four and others. It is a huge event worldwide. Explain the present royal family and their relationship. Obviously, you go back to when the store burnt down in the 1880s and the support of the elite, the support of the royal family. Tell us about the royal family now and their Herod's experience. Are they eating at the Gordon Ramsay Burger Bar? No, no and, and we would not expect our uh, royal family to eat at the royal Gordon Ramsay. Uh, we occasionally do transactions with them, but they have, they've got long established relationships through the society of, of, of their thing, and they shop with them. So it's, it's, it's not like the other royal families who may be slightly more profligate. Ours are, tend to be more conservative than most.